All right, so uh, excuse the truck, but it's a little dirty. I need to wash it. Got some dirt on the on the front and everything. Been sitting all weekend. But uh, I previously did a video of how to get to the batteries on a Kenworth 2015 uh, T680 model. So I went ahead and I hooked up my inverter, um, and I'm gonna show you guys how I hooked it up. So up under here is where the battery cables come down, or the, the cables to the uh, to the power inverter. Okay, so they come down in through the battery. Now, don't hook them up to the battery just yet. You're gonna have to run your wires. I ran them up under the cab right here, just underneath this little fairing right here, and kind of zip tied them where I could and then I actually had a hole that was already pre-drilled somebody whoever had the truck before me uh, drilled some holes or at least one it was actually perfect size for me to run some wires up through there now let me get into here put this over here so I put some duct tape or not some duct tape, electrical tape around these. Um, just because it is next to a hole, I figured, you know, keep it from chafing. And so I ran the wires back through that way. Let's go all around to the other side. And then I've got it mounted right here. Um, I, I mounted mine flat. A lot of people put them on the side, but I mean, I, I don't like putting everything on its side or anything. I just flat. And I've got a surge protector actually plugged in right here. It runs up through behind the bunk. If you actually lift the bunk up, you have enough room to run this electric cord. Um, <coughs> And then I've got it ran behind the bed over here. And there's where the power cord is. Got my TV, my PlayStation, um, and my uh, toaster oven hooked up to it. But uh, if you read the, if you read what it says in the book that you get when you buy this, uh, it says you're supposed to put in a fuse next to the you know at or near the battery you don't really have to uh, I actually I know a guy here in Michigan he's got his own electrical company he I called him before I hooked it up just to make sure and uh, he told me that the power inverters that they sell these power drives they actually have breakaway fuses built into the into the power inverter so uh, I just I want the extra step and put a surge protector uh, extension cord on it, and that should that should be fine. He's, he told me I don't even need the surge protector, but to be uh, safe, I, I just went ahead and put the surge protector in there. So, but after you get all your wires ran and you get the you know get it where you want it, you don't have to mount it until you know you have all the wires ran. You don't have to mount it right away, um, but get it ran to where you want it. And then go ahead and plug up your uh, your battery cables along with the uh, new <coughs> the new cables with the power inverter. So there you go. There it is.